Hey guys, Jared here, Magnetic Men's Club. Hope you're having an amazing day. If you're new here, welcome. In today's video, we're gonna talk a little bit about the beta male. By now, you guys all know the difference between an alpha and a beta male. What I wanna do in this video is give you guys five things that you can do to move out of the beta male mindset and into more of your masculine alpha role. Now, before we get into that, if you don't know what a beta male is, the quick, easy definition is just a guy generally who is too nice, he's not very assertive, he's very passive in the way he does things, he's generally unhappy in his situation in life. Now, he could be very alpha in one area of his life and very beta in another area of his life. But as a whole, he's still beta. See, a true alpha man doesn't have a lot of beta qualities. He's alpha in all aspects of his life. Now, I'm not here to beat anyone's chest and say, yeah, 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 be an alpha man all the time. What I am here to say is the more times you can stay in your alpha, the more times you can stay in that masculine grounded energy, the more times you can be assertive, the more times that you can have a higher opinion, a higher status of yourself, the better off you're going to be. So it's never a good idea to always to be in your beta. Once in a while, Every man out there, I don't care how fucking alpha they say they are, they get in their beta at some point. I'm not here to discourage that because there are some points where being in your beta, maybe there's a death in the family and you're crying. Well, the true alpha man never cries, right? So sometimes you have to go into your beta. Perfect example of this to be is when my ex-wife passed away, I became a single father of a daughter and a son. I can't treat my daughter the exact same way I treated my son when it came to discipline, when it came to talking to him. So my daughter, I had to go more into my feminine, more into my beta when I was interacting with her. I can't go into my pure alpha, pure masculine with her, she wouldn't have been able to receive the messages or been able to communicate with me effectively. So there are times when you have to go into your beta. I don't give a fuck what all these other influencers say that they always stay in your alpha. That's just stupid, okay? But what I am saying, it is a better idea to stay more in your alpha, more in your grounded masculine energy than it is to stay in your beta. So if you're in your beta too much, if you're generally considered a very nice guy, if you're very passive, if you generally feel yourself as a low status man, if you view other men around you as, wow, this guy has it going on, well then my friends, you're more in your beta and that is a problem. So I wanna give you five things that you can do. Plus, if you stay at the end of the video, I'm throwing in a bonus number six that you can do to shore up and stay more in your alpha and leave that beta behind you or leave it more behind you and get more into your alpha. If you like videos like this, if you like content like this, I ask you guys to please subscribe to this channel, hit the like button and that bell icon, wherever the hell it is. So the very first thing you need to do to get out of that beta male role that I see most men who are betas, who are stuck in this role, is they're just too submissive and they're too passive. You have to get more into your assertive role. Now on the scale you have passive, and then on the other extreme you have aggressive. You never wanna to be too aggressive, and you never wanna be passive. You wanna be in the middle, which is assertive. If you have an idea, if you have a thought, if you have an opinion, start exercising that. Start telling people what your thoughts are what your opinions are. It's gonna give them a different perspective on where you're coming from, and it's also going to help engage you better in these 
interactions you have with this, especially if you're talking to women. Women don't like passive men. Women don't like men who just say the things that they need to say in order to get what they want. That's a nice guy. That's part about being a beta. If you have an opinion, if you have a thought, if you have a solution, my God, bring it up. Tell them. The other thing is it will help you with your work, whatever it is that you do, becoming more assertive in your work, becoming more of a person who is a team player and not playing it small, not keeping his thoughts and his opinions to himself. You're actually going to better the group by being part of the group and not being on the fringes of that circle. So get better at becoming more assertive. Now here's the downfall a lot of people when they practice this. They take the passive and they become way too aggressive and it comes foreign to them, it doesn't feel right and they come across as an asshole. Have you ever, ever seen a real aggressive guy? Generally speaking, that aggressiveness is beta quality still because now they're wildly aggressive which means they're wildly emotional. And an emotional man is a beta man. Being an assertive man means I can assert myself in a situation, allow or provide value, provide a helping hand, provide something, and then I can fall back when I don't need to assert myself. So that's what you need to practice is staying out of your passive and getting more assertive without getting too aggressive. The very next thing that you guys can do is very simple is stop putting women on a pedestal. The reason why beta guys do put women on a pedestal is because they always view women more than themselves, which means you view yourself less. And when you put her above you, she's looking down on you. And so what the men typically will do is because they have this thought that they are less than their women. They are less than the women that they're courting. They are less than, they have so much more value, these women, they start leading more with their money. They start over investing in these women. They start over communicating with these women. They start being way too submissive to these women. And because the reason why they're so submissive is because they feel like if I don't do everything she says, if I don't listen to everything she says, she's going to leave. This is the thought of a beta male. They have this less than thought. So you got to stop pedestalizing the women. Women don't like that. They want a strong, assertive man who has his own thoughts, who has his own opinions. This is why women prefer the alpha type man. They don't like the beta male guy. Most men are beta males, but they prefer the alpha male qualities and not putting her on a pedestal, treating her as an equal. Women want a man who is at least at their level, but honestly, guys, she wants a man she can look up to. And so if you can be the guy that she looks up to, that means she respects. No woman respects a beta male. No woman respects a guy who is a yes man. No woman respects a nice guy. So stop that. What will happen is she will throw you in the friend zone if you start exhibiting these behaviors, nine times out of 10, you're gonna just get thrown into the friend zone and now you wonder why. I'm such a great guy, yes. You're too nice, you're too beta. The third thing I want you guys to do if you're not doing this is start getting into the gym. I'm not talking about going for a bike ride. I'm not talking about going for a run. I'm not talking about grounding yourself and getting into nature. Get under some weights. The more muscle you can put on your body, the more free flowing testosterone that comes into your body, the more assertive you become. And the more wins that you get into the gym, the better you look, the better you feel, the better you act, the more assertive you act. Now I know some people are going to say, well, guys in the gym are kind of assholes and they're, they're very aggressive. Well, 
they might be doing some other stuff that we, we're not going to talk about in this video. They might be under some influence of too much testosterone and they might just be assholes. It's not the case for most men. The most men who go to the gym, they feel really good about themselves, they look really good, they're able to carry themselves in such a way that other people notice them and they have that alpha quality about them. They're not like the herd because the herd doesn't go to the gym. Think about this way, guys. 80% of the population in the United States is considered obese. That means if you're obese, you're average. If you're average, you're beta. You wanna be above that. So you wanna to get to the gym, you wanna get some muscle in your body, you wanna look good naked. You wanna feel good about yourself. So this is a hard thing you can do very easily, very quickly, is get your ass to the gym. Number four, guys, unfriend, unfollow, all attention whores. Now what's an attention whore? Instagram models, friends or girls that you don't know who constantly post stupid shit of them in their bikini, them taking a crap on the toilet, them sitting by the toilet with their stupid duck face, feeling cute, stupid slow motion videos that they do of their lips. They're providing no value other than look at me, like me, love me daddy, heart, please comment. These are attention whores. <clears throat> Stop giving your attention to these bitches. They don't deserve it. All they're trying to do is make themselves feel better. I promise you, if you look at 99% of these women in public, they don't fucking look like that. They're, they can't bring their filters in public. So I'm telling you, think about it that way. They're all heavily filtered. They are all in good lighting and they're only showing you what they want to show you. It's all an illusion. Most of them in public do not look like that. So stop giving your attention. This is the biggest beta male thing I see, and I see it on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, fucking you name it. These douchebags, heart, like, fire emojis, you're a goddess, I love you, oh my god, I'd do anything to be with you. Beta bitch, beta bitch, beta bitch, beta bitch. Thirsty beta bitch, all they do is give out their attention. You're not gonna do that. You're gonna unfriend, unfollow, all of these attention whores. You're gonna start doing that as of now. Number five, the last one besides the bonus one, guys. Stop pursuing women who are in the, who already is in the friend zone. Meaning any woman that has friend zoned you, any woman who says, hey, you're a really great guy, I just wanna be friends. Anytime you agree with that, anytime she reaches out when Chad blew out her back and broke up with her and you're on the phone with her, talking her off the ledge for hours, stop communicating with them. They threw you in a friend zone for a reason, probably because you were too beta, you weren't in your masculine enough, you're gonna change that, but stop pursuing these women. Stop having the thought that if I just hang in there long enough, Susan is gonna get ch tired of Chad's shit and she's gonna see me for the amazing unicorn Pegasus God I am or whatever the fuck you got thinking in your mind. She's thinking you as a friend. She's viewing you as a friend because you've exhibited up until this point more womanly behaviors, AKA beta behaviors, which in her mind, you're a woman. So she threw you into friend zone. So stop pursuing them. Before we get to bonus number six is in the description below is a brand new platform I want you to check out. It's $7 a month for life. It's through our school platform. There is hours and hours of videos that you can watch that aren't published anywhere else. There are more tutorials, how-to things. There are tests and quizzes that you can take. There's blog articles. And you can interact with me and my team one-on-one -on, -one on a more intimate level than you're able to do on YouTube. Take a look at that at $7 a month for the first 50 members. After that, it's going up. Now, with that, bonus number six. Start unplugging yourself from all beta, which is mainstream sources of information. 
BET Radio, BET, the celebrity fucking gossip channels, all of this stuff. Who gives a shit if Rihanna is dating one guy? Who gives a shit about all of this stuff? All of this is taking your attention away from your path and purpose. Pull all, all of that crap out. The celebrities out there, stop pedestalizing them. I see a lot of guys doing this. Stop, pull all of that shit out. Stop putting your attention into stuff that isn't helping you. These celebrities don't give a shit about you, so stop giving a shit about them. Stop listening or buying, anyway, these poppy music, country mu music that's getting very feminized, especially these newer artists. I don't understand what's going on with the country music scene. They're all looking like fucking girls right now. And they're talking like girls and they're singing songs. All feminized songs. Stop listening to that shit. Go back to the old school country if you're going to listen to country music. Same goes with these R&B songs that talk about my girl left and I'm heartbroken. All this shit. Who gives a crap about all that stuff? That's bringing you into your beta. You are a beautiful fucking alpha man and you're gonna start owning it. So all of this music that's detracting you, that's pulling you down, you're gonna stop listening to it right now. And also, get rid of your Netflix subscription. Every show on Netflix is betatized. Every show either portrays some woman who's a superhero and how she can do no wrong, and every man in her life is a fucking bumbling retard. Stop it. Stop programming your mind that way. You're not. So don't watch these shows. Stop giving your money away to these networks who are trying to program you. And finally, TV shows, sitcoms that are portraying men in a negative light, stop turning, in, or stop turning all of that on. Turn it all off. None of this is helping you. That's all I got on this, guys. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Leave a comment. Tell me to fuck off. I don't give a shit. But at this point, from here on out, if you made it this far, You've gotten the five with the bonus number six tools that you can do immediately to pull yourself out from being more into your beta and getting more into your alpha. With that, have a great day and we'll talk soon.